Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts and today I'm just making a video as to why I no longer want to use the post office um, from from now on uh, since uh, I suppose since this December uh, I've been exclusively using the uh, courier services um, DHL, these boys, there's my little little thing, DHL um are are pretty good also ups as well um ups and dhl have been very good for me they've been sending uh my walking sticks around the world during the pandemic and um, they can get anywhere from three days to to five days Um, i find them them pretty reliable um uh, maybe in the run-up to christmas there was like a slight delay in, in getting them to some remote locations but Overall, um, I can't sing the praises high enough of DHL and uh, UPS. And, uh, you know, I had to go to the post office today and I collected this hiking stick, which was, that's, that's, not, that's not how a hiking stick is supposed to arrive when you send it to someone. Um, so this was damaged by the post office in the post. Um, it was sent on the 25th of November and now it is the 6th of January, and this is returned to me. And uh, when I complained in the post office, I was told, just ring the call center um, of the post office. Um, you ring the call center after an hour of just automated machines, it just conks out. It's just a complete waste of time. And there's no one manning the, the phones at the moment. So this video is a little kind of um, homage to the couriers, which is I'm happy with. And uh, a big uh, thumbs down to the uh, to the, the postal service. And I thought I'd make this video just in case there's anyone out there, you know, uh, wondering, you know, about how they should um, be be ordering things. And um, if you're ordering a, a Blackthorn walking stick or a hiking stick, only do it by courier at the moment. Um, they're reliable. Um, if there's any problems, if it gets damaged, you can claim refunds. They have good customer service. You get onto the shipper straight away. Um, they usually, 99% you know, of the time, they're going to have no problems when arriving. And, uh, you know, with my business, even though it costs a little bit more and I absorb the costs of it, I think I put on like, you know, to send a, to send a stick with the post office from Ireland to America is about $20, $28. But I just honor the same price and upgrade everyone now to a courier service. So I don't increase the cost of shipping, even though I am using couriers. I just take it on the chin and absorb it until until things get get through and um, because i know it's, it's quite difficult at the moment for for everyone so the last thing i want to do is be be raising prices at all i've even pulled back my prices a little bit on on last year and um, so like with the post office as i was saying this it's it's maddening like you know i i spend a lot of time making these sticks like um you know i go out i cut the wood i make them i season them and everything and then you know as a seller you have to hand them over to this third party which just destroys your work I have to give a full refund to the customer now. Um, I can't get my money back from the post office. They say they have a refund procedure, but you know they they say oh it doesn't really cover once it leaves Ireland as well. They give you um they give you this form to fill out each time. They say fill out this form and post it in. Now I, I've I've sent off about ten of these and I haven't heard anything back from 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 last year as well. They just give you this kind of blanket form to say look here's a form you fill out call the call center and fill the form you know and um, from speaking to to other um online businesses and crafters as well they all have similar sentiments to the uh, to the local post office so at the moment the local post offices you know i know they're 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 struggling and stuff but um you know they are making a lot of difficulties for for small business and crafters because the amount of you know the, the refunds we have to do because look i'm i'm very i'm very uh, honorable like you know if if something gets damaged in the post and it it arrives back here or there's some evidence that it was damaged i'll refund straight away you know there's there's no no hassle there um and it's just that um most things i can send by courier but then sometimes the uh, socks oh my god these these uh i'll show you these socks have been a bane of my existence one second let me get a pair one second here <laughs> okay i sell these things in my shop they're they're woolen socks they're fantastic they're they're great but like you can't courier a pair of socks around the world like it costs me you know 36 plus euro and a bit more sometimes to, to curry or something so here a pair of socks who in their right mind is going to to pay 36 dollars or sorry euro more to get a pair of socks couriers and like i've sold a few of these 
um, in November and they, they never arrived with the uh, the post office and of course I, I gave refunds straight away but oh my god the, uh, the, 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 the novels I used to get from people giving out that it was my fault that I didn't ship it that I didn't do this that didn't do that but it's like uh, you know so I had to take these these uh, off my shop for the time being because I'm only dealing with with couriers as well. So like the little smaller lighter items, there it's not practical to send it by courier. So mostly it's the hiking sticks and walking sticks, which is the majority of my business as well. Um, but yeah, like um, oh my god, and um, the 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 customers who want these socks, oh my god, they give me such such a hard time <laughs> this year. Uh, you're on the emails and and uh, messaging me as well. They're they're not too happy when. They order their socks and it's not there within a week. And, you know, they're, they're, of course, it's my fault that I cannot, you know, ship this quicker across the world, apparently. But uh, so, yeah, yeah, just a little rant about these socks. Oh, my God, they've, they've been in my existence this year. But yeah, like, um, you know, customers need to understand as well. Like when, when I see this happen, I feel the same as you guys. I'm annoyed i'm not happy i i think you know i'm i'm equally not happy like and at the end of the day look you don't get your gift but you still get your full money back for me i lose the product and i lose the sale and i lose everything so it really comes down to the person selling getting shafted the most um the post office they've got the payment for for shipping it they you can fill out these forms and they have all of these rules so it's, it's almost impossible to get your money back from the uh from the from the post office and um, customers are pissed and angry that they have not got their gift they were looking forward to and they they had to go through this this process but at the end of the day they get their full refund back so it's like a, like a half half upset half win for them because you know they're, they're not at a loss and again the sellers who sell the products when there's a problem with the post office and um, they're the ones that get shafted the most you have to you know refund the money you get back a broken item as well that that's that snap beyond repair like i i can't change make that into a walking stick again i don't have magic like um maybe i'll try to like make some little swagger stick or something out of it but like it's you know it, it's not not the point so again this is uh you know a little call out to all the other crafters watching and, and business people and say, look, you know, I feel your pain. We're all in this together, as they say. And uh, look, it's one of those things. Uh, I just wanted to kind of highlight as well, you know, the main thing that if you're if you're looking to uh, to order um just use couriers at the moment for the month of January and February as well, just given that the postal service is just not on top of things at the moment, obviously for obvious reasons, like they, they have have their, their own issues, but everyone is dealing with something at the moment. And, you know, uh, if you order a gift and you're looking forward to it and you want it, you want to know it's secure, um, you know, I can I can assure you I'll be using the, the best two couriers out there from Ireland or DHL and UPS. And uh, I'm happy to use them. I have a good relationship with them and, uh, you know, rest assured. So anyway, look, that's that's my kind of uh, shipping rant anyway today. Uh, I'll get back to more more videos now shortly as well. I'm just trying to sort out uh, all, all my year so far and uh, back to business soon. Thank you.